Hello and welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Criterion. I mentioned in the episode about Branded to Kill about the UK beating Criterion to release dates and again with this title the UK label Mubi did this last year with the Celine Sciamma film Petite Maman. Celine Sciamma is a French filmmaker who brought us Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Now this of course is her most famous and award winning piece about two women who fall in love. Petite Maman is altogether different and the film transcends time and space to weave a delicate fable about grief, family and connection across generations. In the wake of her grandmother's death, eight-year-old Nellie, played by Josephine Sanz, accompanies her distraught mother, Nina Mariz, to her childhood home. There, Nellie's encounter with another young girl, Gabrielle Sanz, brings mother and daughter together in a way neither could have ever imagined, evoking childhood's perpetual state of wonder through luminous, richly textured images, Petite Maman takes viewers on a journey inward for a quietly miraculous tale of emotional time travel. Now in the film, oh, I can't go into too much detail here without giving away the secret of the film, which I certainly wouldn't want to do, so no spoilers from me here, but I will just give you a very brief synopsis. The film follows a young girl coping with the death of a maternal grandmother by bonding with her mother. Now the young actors playing the girls are superb and they both show a maturity beyond their years, although of course older than their playing age in the film, which is often the case in these projects. Now what's astonishing here is the way Skiyama uses her central conceit to allow characters to speak to each other across great divides, for children to see the dreams their parents once nurtured and to be reassured that you didn't invent my sadness, to be able to have those conversations in such wonderfully ordinary surroundings. What fantastical flight of fantasy could be more thrilling, more enriching and more healing? Now it's shot in intimately natural hues by cinematographer Claire Mathon, whose recent credits include Spencer, Petite Maman has a tactile, earthy quality about it, and Skiama has a keen eye for those moments where childhood and adulthood blur, with Nellie, who seems from the outset to be maternally protective of her mother. Now there's also the sheer joy of a scene in which Nellie and Marion make pancakes, and that combines the youthful glee of the Florida Project with the bittersweet fantasy of the perfect day coda from Spielberg's AI artificial intelligence. Now in November 2020 it was announced that Celine Sciamma would write and direct this film with Benedict Couvrer serving as the producer, with Pyramide Distribution set to distribute it. Now Petite Maman had its world premiere at the 71st Berlin International Film Festival in March 2021, where Neon bought North American distribution rights to the film the same day. A week later, Mubi acquired the distribution rights for the UK, Ireland and Turkey, and it was released in France on the 2nd of June 2021 by Pyramid Distribution. Now the film screened at the Toronto International Film Festival in September of 2021, and it also screened at the 2021 San Sebastian International Film Festival, where it won the Audience Award that year. The film comes to Blu-ray and the disc contains the following special features. There's a 2K digital master with 5.1 surround soundtrack on DTS Master Audio. New conversation between director Celine Sciamma and filmmaker Joachim Trier. My Life as a Zucchini from 2016, an Oscar nominated stop motion animated film directed by Claude Barra and co-written by Sciamma. Trailers and an essay written by author So Meyer. And the cover art for the disc is by Carson Ellis. Petite Maman is the second Celine Sciamma film to arrive in the Criterion Collection in just a few years, and is a gentle evocation of childhood and grief with beautiful performances and a gentle revealing story. It's a short running time of only 71 minutes and a full screen aspect ratio, no black bars, and it releases in the US on Blu-ray only on Tuesday the 23rd of May and it's spine 
1181.